Hello everyone, hope you guys are having a great day today. Well, I went and got this chain connectors for the hitch for the trailer. So, it says it holds 2,200 pounds. So, for the trailer that I'm going to be using, it's going to be good enough for it. So, that's why my care thing is safety when I am on the road so I just wanted to get it make sure they are good for the trend so all right this is it for this part this is the trailer spare tire I am about to grind it down so I could paint it on both sides so we'll see how it's going to look after it's painted okay this is the back of the rim see how it is so we're going to grind it down to make it look good and then to paint it also Grinding the rim, cleaning it out, get all the rust off on both sides, as you notice. So now I have to just paint it on white. So I'll be using a special paint and mineral spirit. I'll do it, I'll mix it so it will run smooth when I'm painting it. This is the paint that I use. It's a special paint. You could order this on Amazon. It's Pistolium. And it's for foreign equipment. And what I do, I just put a little bit there. And what this does is just makes it smooth to the paint. So I'm going to mix it up, then I'll show you guys how it comes into the room. Alright, that's all. I'm going to be using this sponge uh, brush. Makes it easier to to work with it. Uh, it does smooth the paint out. So, um, I'm going to start painting it now. Let's see how it goes. Working out pretty good. Definitely it's easy to paint with. I did the other two rims on the trailer and it worked out really good. You got to take your time though. Takes patience to do this stuff. Yeah, if I had to do it two coats for it so it will look nice so I will show you guys once it's done well there it is it is painted and then the other side also so the rim is painted finish with this project this is how the rim looks painted this is the back part and uh, go by the and this is the front right here looks really nice
Well, guys, I put also the yellow running light in the area that I put the metal part there. So that is taken care of too, and it's working also. I already tested, so it's good to go. Alrighty, so the license plate is working now. Ready to be put on whenever I get the, the tag for it.